Hi guys, so I just needed to make a April favorites. My hair looks absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm about to go get in the shower, but I wanted to make a April favorites before I went ahead and got in. Um, I'm just going to obviously show you what my favorites are for the month of April. Um, they do range from drugstore to high-end products, so if you don't, I mean, I don't know what I'm even saying, so yeah, just watch the video. Okay, so my favorite, my first favorite for the month is my Clinique Almost Makeup. I think this is tinted moisturizer. I think it's considered tinted moisturizer, but this is amazing. I don't have any foundation on right now. I just put a little eyeshadow and mascara on for this video, um, but I love this. I love it. It's so, like, it just goes on so nice. Um, when I'm running out to like grocery shopping or just whatever I have to do, um, I always put a little bit of this on and it just makes my face, my cheeks not so red. It makes you not be able to see pimples. It's just great. It's really, really great. And I like it a lot. And I can also use it on days where I want a full cover foundation, full coverage face look. I use this and my next favorite, and that, ooh, dropped it. A MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. Um, I got these both from a CCO when I was on vacation. And I'll do a CCO haul on them. But I just wanted to obviously film this video and go ahead and put them up. So these are awesome and I love them. Um, my next favorite is also for your face. And it is also purchased at CCO. It is the Style Warriors Bronzer. In solar riche I don't know if that's backwards on this camera I have no idea so yeah but it's kind of orangey tinted which the lady at the store explained to me that I apply my well first of all I apply mine with a duo fiber brush this is an f50 from Sigma and I'll just show you on my hand I guess the lady at the store explained to me that the orangey tint to this it doesn't come off orange or else I wouldn't have obviously purchased it, but she explained to me that it kind of balances out the redness in your face and the yellow tones, which surprisingly, like, that doesn't look, well, it looks orange on camera, but it doesn't look that orange in person. It looks like a natural, like, tan hand, you know? But she explained to me that the orange balances out the yellow tones and she I thought when I went in that I had more red tones in my skin than yellow and she tested foundations on me and she said that I had more yellow tones which is weird because this the almost makeup is in neutral fair I forgot to say and this is NC25 but no it isn't it's an NW20 sorry but she said that this ha this is more has more peachy in it like my hand is orange but she said that this is more peachy like I don't know if you can tell just by looking at my hand but right there it's like really peach looking and I tried it I looked at it I swatched it on my hand I was like I don't think so that's not gonna work but it matches my skin so nicely I enjoy it my next favorite day is a palette and I've had this palette since Christmas, but I used it up until probably February, and then I stopped using it, and I just started using it again this month. It is Urban Decay Loves NYC. Um, I did the makeup for a play in March, and I used this, because I didn't personally use it on myself. I just um, got the eyeshadow sanitized and used it on, used it on the girls in the play. And because I work with a local director, I sometimes act in his plays, sometimes make makeup for him. Um, he's my mom's best friend's ex-husband's brother, if that makes sense. But he's amazing. I'll put a link to his theater company in the down bar if you guys live in South Carolina and you want to go see any of his shows. The next show that he's having will be in June, and it's... Phantom of the Opera again, which he just did. Sorry, my dog is like being an attention whore. But yeah, 
so Phantom of the Opera, he's doing it again, and yeah, so I used, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out, I used this for a lot of the colors, Ooh, for a lot of the eye looks in the show, I used a lot of the colors for the looks in the show, and they really looked amazing on stage, because these eyeshadows have a lot of glitter in them, there's only pretty much one eyeshadow that doesn't have glitter in it, and that's Provision. Perversion? Provision. What the hell? But I used um, a lot of these colors, and they're really pretty. And I'll just give you like a close-up, I guess. I really love Psychedelic Sister, obviously. <laughs> but these eyeshadows are amazing, and they're so pigmented. Like, look at this black, okay? That is crazy. And then this green. Wow. They're so pretty. Look at that. And then this blue. Oh my god. This blue is my freaking favorite. Wow. I'll do the purple. Look at that. This is so pretty. And then again, you know. Maui Wowie, Smog, Suspect, Midnight Cowboy Reds again. The neutral colors in this palette are also very amazing. Go Rockstar. I mean, Smog. So pretty. Okay, so yeah, love these. Okay, my next favorite is a mascara. And Candy Johnson, I'm the make Candy Johnson, what is it? Just Candy Johnson, I think, on YouTube. Um, got me hooked onto this mascara, I have to say. Um, she kept having this this mascara in a lot of her tutorials and a lot of her like I don't know if she does favorites videos I don't remember but she had this in a lot of her videos and it is the Almay one coat dial up okay I got a henna tattoo um but this mascara is awesome like you have no freaking idea it's just amazing I love it and this is the brush I have it in black. The wand gets pretty gross. And like the little tube does too. But you just turn the dial. And one gives you the thinnest lashes, which I usually use one on Easter, on, not Easter Sunday, but on Sundays. So that I don't have like the craziest, biggest lashes to go to church. I'm just weird like that. But yeah, but the three is, oh, it's just great. My eye's twitching. Can you tell it's this one? Hold on. It's not twitching right now. It'll probably twitch again. It's been twitching all day. It's weird. And my last favorite is a makeup brush. And it is the angled brush from Sigma. It's an E70. Yeah. E70. It's angled, obviously. And I love this for putting color in my crease. And that's what I do. I put color in my crease with this. And then I go ahead and blend it out with any blending brush. And... It just works really well. And I like it. And it's so super soft. <sighs> that was a load full of stuff to say in one video. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.